Hey golfers, Tony with Reactionary Golf. I'm enjoying the British Open this morning, just chilling out, drink a little coffee, and uh, and watching the changes that Chris O'Connell's make to uh, Matt Kuchar's swing, and it's awesome. He's done a great job with it. So, just want to show you the different positions. This lower video is uh, from 2012. I believe this is Augusta, yeah. And you can just see this was that perceived one plane swing, which it's not even. The, doesn't exist, but I don't want to go into that. But I really want to show you the difference of, now this is a three wood and not a driver, but just the difference in motion on how the arm set at the top. So from here, obviously then, he, and even Miller talked about how smooth you can make that transition. All this rotation going on in this lower swing from 2012 just causes a lot of work to be done with the body, which slows things down, doesn't hit the ball very far. I remember I was down at Doral for World Golf Championship. Kuchar and McRoy were playing together, and, and, and it wasn't even close. Kuchar was hitting it maybe about 260. McRoy just just blew it by him about 50 yards. And that, that the body just can't move as fast as, as the arms. So now that he's got his arms more up, now he can get a lot more speed in with the arms to cr produce greater club head speed and a lot smoother golf swing, and that's what Miller was talking about. So, great job, Chris. Uh, but, guys, uh, hope you enjoyed the Open. Later.